Not very long after this happened, a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to come and watch her run at a, a track meeting that weekend at a venue called Olympic Park back in Melbourne, Australia. And I remember thinking at the time, well, you know, I'm a masochist, why wouldn't I go and watch somebody run? I've just lost both legs, <laughs> why not? Right? Because you've got to laugh, right? You end up in a situation like this, you've got to see the funny parts of it. So, said, so why not? Sign me up. So Daphne comes to pick me up and, and we get into the car, we take my wheelchair apart, we drive to Olympic Park, we pull up out the front and she goes around to the trunk and gets my wheelchair out, puts it back together. She's just, uh, she wheels it around to the passenger side. I'm just about to hop into it. And she says, whoa, 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 hop, st stay right there. I just realised, stay in the car. We're gonna have to, I'm going to have to drive you around to the other side. I said, why? What's going on? You won't be able to get in this way. So what are you talking about? She said, no, no, trust me, you won't be able to get in this way. And I, well, why not? She said, oh, here we go. Because we're having a little bit of a tug of war with the chair by this stage and, and eventually I, I, I won and I jumped into the chair and by this stage, you didn't have to be a mind reader, she's thinking, that, to know that Daphne's thinking, oh, here we go. So, because I want to see what this, why, I, I want to know why I can't get in this way. So I cruise around the corner to come face to face <laughs> with Exhibit A here. <laughs> and I'm sitting, I'm looking at this thing and I'm thinking, ooh, okay. Okay. So I'm sitting there, and I must have been sitting there for, for, for quite a while, because by this stage, Daphne's got her arms crossed <laughs> and she's tapping one foot. And I didn't have to be a mind reader to know what she was thinking come on, you idiot, can we go back to the car now? Well, before she knows it, I am out of the chair. I pull one wheel off and pass it to her. I pull the other wheel off and pass that to her. I shuffle over to the base of the turnstile, reach up and grab one bar, pulled up and grabbed the next bar up so that my butt was that far off the ground, I turned around to her and said, right, now give me a spin. <laughs> she spun me around to the other side. Her eyes were about this big. <laughs> I said, don't you stand there, pass me that wheel. She passes one wheel through, then the other, then the chair. I put it back together. I jumped up into the chair and I turned around and wheeled into that place and I'm thinking, you guys are going to have to do way better than that <laughs> to keep me out of here. Right? Now, the thing is this. How easily could I have turned around and gone back to the car and spent the whole rest of the day being all depressed about how wheelchair unfriendly the world is. Because it is. That's a given. I can't change that. There's people working on it, but I can't change it. I could have easily spent the rest of the day focused on that. The rest of the week, I could have spent the rest of the year, I could have spent the rest of my life being focused on how wheelchair unfriendly the world is. I'm not interested in focusing on things that I can't change. Right, I'd suggest that you don't either. Right? That's not to say that we don't set big goals. I'm saying there's, there's, there's times when we pick our battles and there's times when we just we move forward. Now, the thing with this, with an obstacle like this, for me, it's always about, is there a way, can I go under this? Can I go over it? Or well, sometimes you've got to go straight through. Sometimes you've got to pull things apart to go straight through. But again, it all comes back to perception, being able to step back and look for the ways to move forward because it wasn't obvious. You know, when I first sat in front of this thing, I'm just thinking, whoa, okay. But I opened up a space, instead of it letting, being shut down, I opened up a space to be able to get creative and go, I know what we need to do here, and I think it might work. <laughs>